This is Andrew Clark, the Logistics Linchpin, helping you to scale up without stress. Okay, if you're not familiar with the Isle Master, this is a type of forklift that you really need to know about. Um, so this is an evolution of the counterbalance forklift, only instead of steering from the rear, you'll notice immediately from looking at this video that the entire mast is also the steering wheels. So this steers at the front and there is a pivot point immediately behind the mast. And this weird configuration of forklift, which looks on the face of it ungainly and they are very large, this particular type of forklift allows you to work in an aisle that is as narrow as that you would have with a stock picker or a turret truck, down to around about two metres. So this is really quite extraordinary. It is incredibly manoeuvrable, even though it doesn't particularly look it. It does double duty as both a, a yard fork, like a normal counterbalance forklift, and it will also work in aisles that are narrower than a conventional uh, reach truck and much narrower than a counter, traditional counterbalance fork. So traditional counterbalance forklift, you need about a four and a half meter aisle, reach truck, uh, three meter aisle, and the aisle master will work in a two meter aisle. So d it depends upon which model you get, but 1.9 to 2.1 meters is the, the operating aisle parameter. And um, they are, look, they're not cheap, but they are uh, extraordinarily useful. So that will probably get you, if you're using, if you've got the, the wide aisles of a conventional counterbalance forklift, then you might uh, potentially double the storage capacity of your warehouse by going to one of these forklifts. So although the forklift is not cheap, that will save you uh, an enormous amount of money in real estate costs and more than pay for the additional cost of, a, of uh, an aisle master. You'll see that the forklift uh, bends in the middle at more than 90 degrees, so it pivots on its rear wheels, and that's what gives it its extraordinary manoeuvrability. Um, it's very smooth, it's very quiet, uh, it's clearly, clearly a, a quality unit, this particular one. There are other brands of this particular style of forklift, so it's, it's not the only one out there, uh, but this is the only one that I've looked at. I caught up with Philip Graham recently from Armaster. He showed us around the forklift, and, uh, and I was actually quite impressed, and it certainly changed the way that I'll be thinking about warehouse designs in future. In the right context, this is an enormously valuable way to go with, uh, with your forklift design. I even had a bit of a go at it and found it sort of fairly easy to drive whilst holding my camera in uh, uh, in one hand and trying to drive it uh, one-handed. So um, that is that is a very, very quick summary. There was a longer video of the uh, discussion we had with Philip where we went through many details about the forklift and some of the things that are coming up. So I can highly recommend that to you if you want to have a look. Otherwise, we'll leave it there and... Uh, I will see you in the next one.